Welcome once again to Just One Question. This is your host Nilakshi Sengupta and our episode today is all about training towards becoming an artist in the true sense. I have with me today Kaizad Kotwal. Kaizad is an Indian producer, director, actor, writer and designer. He has worked in over 200 theater and film productions and he is also an Emmy award winner for art direction. Some of you have seen him as an actor in films, in ads, have heard him teaching theater, have seen him handling production, but many of you may not know of him being a doctorate in the arts. Let's chat with him and find out more. Hi Kaizad, lovely meeting you and starting our chat with a subject that is very close to my heart. Education, learning and training. But first things first. Tell me about your PhD, please. My doctorate was in theatre, film, and uh, virtual technologies. It's a very strange combination, and I was very blessed. I had some amazing mentors. I started doing theatre at Wabash College, which was my undergrad institution. I was very blessed because when I did both university theatre and professional theatre, um, you get to work with some of the best in the industry. So people who've performed on Broadway, people who've directed. Etc. Etc. And uh, that learning is completely different. You know, you learn from uh, the masters. You know, people, and and it elevates your game, right? Mm-hmm. When when you perform with the best, I mean, even here, when you're performing with somebody who knows what they're doing, your game has to match and rise up to that. I did, however, have an advisor who was a Greek gentleman, Stratos Konstantinidis. So he, in a very interesting way, was of course very familiar with. uh the greek theater but had also had sort of developed an interest in indian theater and so he was somebody who took me under his wing and my master's work part of it was on um some of the plays that i had worked on in india which were feminist in nature and then i had also touched on some post colonial theater from nigeria so the expo you were we were talking about the exposure in the west to indian theater Yeah when I went um uh, it was not much at all so the the masters was an interesting kind of a combination and so yeah there but you know the the nice thing about there is that even if the mentor does not have the expertise they pick it up with you because at the end of the day they have to test you and so you know they they're very good about that uh, sort of stuff so I did find a lot of support share a little more about the training please training was just brilliant because my training some of it happened in the classroom uh some of it happened on the stage or behind the stage you know and uh, some of it happened uh, by me um wanting to do things that i wasn't necessarily trained for but taking a leap in the dark you know yeah. kind of as so i remember once uh, somebody was doing a play and they wanted a set designer and she said uh you design sets and i had never designed a set till that point i said of course i design sets you know and then of course that night was a little sleepless because i said oops what what have i done but it turned out uh, very well <laughs> how did you pull that off it led me to doing a lot of design work which i had never planned on doing you know from costumes to um, sets to lighting to sound you know and so for me that work was on the job training I had to learn it as I was doing it. Uh and that that's fine too because as long as you deliver the results you know so I'm not one of those people that says that you have to be trained in the academic sense to do things. It certainly helps. Uh but you have to know what you're doing. You have to know what you're doing. This is a uh, more hands-on training you're talking about, right? Uh how was your training in the university? I would really like to know a little more. about how it works in the classrooms one of the nice things about the training that i encountered and i think most people go through this is that you're encouraged to do everything at some stage from stage management to props design to you know so that you really even if you are never going to design a prop in your life as an actor you have a lot of respect for the people that do this kind of training is rare but it does change so much in a person give us an example please of all that you experienced in the process kaiser 
So if you've designed a costume and you know the pain it takes, you will never stand in front of a mirror in that costume and say, this is what I'm showing and I don't look flattering in this. And it's not about that. It's a character. You know, you have respect for people who, who stage manage. Stage managers are the most unsung heroes in the Western theatre. They make everything happen. Everything. And it's a lot of hard work. Acting is easy compared to what they do. You know, but when you've done it, as an actor, you have respect for that. And you will not throw attitude uh, about that. You know, in, in the, one of the things that was really humbling uh, when I was training is that uh, you had to put away your own costumes at the end of the night. You couldn't take them off, leave them in a heap somewhere and some little assistant would come and iron them and wash them. Of course, in the professional theater, but you still hang your clothes up. Then the professionals decide whether it is to be cleaned, dry cleaned, you know, all that stuff. Uh, we had to clean the stage, sweep the stage. At the end of every production, after X number of shows, you had to stay and help pull down the sets, put away the lights, everything. So you get a respect for everybody's contribution and you don't show up on a set thinking the world revolves around me. You know, and uh, that's that's very good training. Uh, it, it keeps you humble and it keeps you grounded. You know, so I, I love that part of it. I absolutely. And then, of course, the I mean, and this is true of the university theatre. Not so much the professional because they are also constrained by what makes money and etc. But you had a lot of room to try new things, to experiment with plays that hardly anybody did. Uh, and you learn, you learn from that, you know, you may do a Greek play that has not been produced for 40 years, but you learn something from it, you know. This is great information that I'm sure our audience is enjoying and learning. I hope this kind of training soon becomes a regular way of teaching in India as well. You on the other hand, my friend, need to share a lot more with us, with your audience. I'll be back with a new set of queries soon. Thanks for now, Kaizad. And with that, I shall take your leave from just one question. This is Nilakshi Sengupta. Catch you soon. Mm -hmm.